What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. In the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Come quick! Take a look at this thing! Have you seen this? It's got a gun on the In all my born days, I never seen such a gun. Iron Dragon! That's the devil. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh my god! What kind of army is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you and call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham.
What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position, then. Have your men ready to run them down, if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbags! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Fingers on the triggers, boys! Targets on the horizon! Fire at will! That's a bad spot! Live to the floor! Now! Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? 
Now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. Go. Gate open. Move, soldier.
Push forward! They're running scared! Look out! Four of them! Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Hold them off! We need time to set the explosives! Don't just stand there! Do something! Son of a bitch!
It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change, can't fight gravity, we can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see, then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Now I know the only 